Hello. You may not know this, but the open rotor is a concept engine. A concept with a very surprising design. <clears throat> As you'll see, the open rotor consists of an open, counter-rotating propeller, meaning that one propeller turns in the opposite direction to the other. This turbojet has the characteristics of a classic engine, known as a dual-flow engine. Engines like this use a flow of compressed warm air, called primary, which drives the turbine, and which in turn drives the fan, the part you see when you board an airplane. This fan creates a second flow of cool air, called secondary, which generates almost 80% of the thrust. The more cool air flow there is compared to warm air flow, the more efficient the engine. The innovation in the open rotor is the level of cool air flow, ensured by propellers turning in the open air. You're surely wondering why we haven't enveloped the propellers with a nacelle, as on a classic engine. First, removing this casing significantly increases the flow of cool air, which is to say, the quantity of air sucked in and expelled by the engine. Consequently, while giving the plane the same speed as a classic engine, the open rotor actually decreases fuel consumption. Moreover, with the casing gone, weight is also reduced. The size of the engine, and thus the quantity of moving air, can be increased without increasing the plane's weight. So the open rotor is twice as large as engines currently in service, with its two rows of propellers, which are four meters in diameter. All of these aspects combined ensure a 30% reduction in fuel consumption compared to the current and most widely used engines. Last, the open rotor can be installed in the traditional way, under the wings, but also in a more surprising way at the rear of the fuselage, for example. Fascinating, wouldn't you say? Now, you're going to have to be patient. The open rotor won't enter into service for another few years, but Safran's working on it and has already developed a life-size demo model. Further tests will enable us to validate this new engine architecture and its new integrated technologies. This is another big step towards a greener sky. There, now you know everything, or nearly everything. Before we leave you, note that the structure of new engines, such as the open rotor, is strictly linked to the architecture of airplanes. So Safran is currently working with its partners to develop ambitious technologies to guarantee the future of aviation. Thank <laughs> you.